to virtual lab of engineering graphics and design esme 191 previously we have discussed the basics and the different tools the drawing boards as well and in the next lecture we have completed our lettering system of single stroke vertical line and now we will have some uh, discussion on the dimensioning system of this so students we have got dimensioning system in dimensioning system the significance of dimensioning is that every drawing must give its exact length breadth height and other details relating to the construction now you have to supply the on information on a drawing now here uh, you can see different types of drawing are given over here with their dimension so you can look at this dimensions okay so these are the five signs these are used to denote uh, the diameter of a circle so circular dimensions are given by five okay now here you can find the angular uh, dimensions are given like this one okay now this inclined lines you can see over here these are known as leader lines which we will learn in the later slides okay now here you can also see the different dimensions are given over here in a parallel manner okay in the later class we will uh, learn the different types of systems as uh, of uh, dimensioning as well so you just see the pictures now then gradually we will learn the different types of aspects of dimensioning system so there is a significance of dimensioning that is uh, by the dimensioning system uh, dimensioning you will easily learn the exact length breadth height and other details relating to the particular a uh, drawing or construction whatever you say okay next we have look uh, in the first lecture of engineering drawing i have discussed with you the different types of lines uh, now uh, in order to you know um, start the dimensioning system in a proper way uh, one must have to get the full knowledge of uh, this particular um, lines so that you can easily uh, get hold of the dimensioning system as well so once again we will uh, recapitulate and revise the different types of lines so if you want to take a, a screenshot you can take a screenshot of these types of lines as these are the very important things you have to uh, remember while um, uh, in the drawing class okay now first is your thick line this one you can see over here thick line and thick line is the outlines application is the outlines visible edges surface boundary of objects and margin lines as well now second is your continuous thin line for continuous thin line it is used for dimensioning lines extension lines section lines leader or pointer lines construction lines border lines as well next is your continuous thin wavy lines it is used for short break lines or irregular boundary lines and it is to be drawn freehand next is your continuous thin with zigzag line it is used for long break lines okay now next is your short dashes gap is 1 and length is 3 mm and it is used for uh, understanding the invisible or interior surfaces in a um, particular drawing <coughs> next is your short dashes so you can find the difference between this one previous one and this one there is a point in between the two uh, uh, dashes okay so this line is generally this is very important line so you can take a note this uh, this type of lines these are mainly used for center lines okay so center lines look like this one which is having a dot in between the dashes okay previous one it was only for only dashes was there no point was there and in this uh, particular uh, line you are having a dot in between the dashes line okay now previous one was previous one was also very important and this was uh, used for um, making understand the invisible uh, surfaces or interior surfaces and for this one this is also very important this is used for uh, locating the center lines or understanding the center lines uh, locus lines um, alternate long and short dashes in a proportion of 6 to 1 okay now next is your long chain thick at end and uh, thin uh, elsewhere okay so here you can see 
this is generally used for cutting plane lines so we must remember this type of line is used for cutting plane lines okay next is your basic dimensioning system now in basic dimensioning dimensions are you know given on drawing by extension lines dimension lines leaders arrowheads figures notes and symbols and these are length okay uh, diameter angle location and not duplicated okay and the general instruction for the dimensions lines it is used for generally uh, the extent and direction of dimensions okay it is terminated by uniform arrows as you can see over here and arrows has to be the ratio of 3 to 1 for length and width is recommended so the arrow you are going to use in your dimensioning system should have length 3 and width 1 ratio okay that is very much recommended for drawing the arrows that are being used in dimensioning of different parts of a particular drawing next the center lines that is never used for dimension lines so center lines as i only earlier mentioned with you that center lines are the lines which are having dashes and a center at and a point in between the two dashes so that is the center lines so center lines should never be used for dimension lines you should keep in mind next you have to avoid dimensioning to hidden lines okay next you have to avoid cross dimensioning lines so you can never cross dimension lines next you have to place dimension lines outside extension lines where space is tight or close so from here you can see you have to place dimension lines outside extension lines when space is narrow or tight or very close so these are the basic dimensioning rules that you have to follow while specifying a dimension of a particular object next <coughs> next is your dimension symbols so here you can see over here dimension symbols are used to replace traditional terms or abbreviation first is your counter board so here are the different dimensions given over here for a particular counter board drawing so here you can see this is the counter board drawing and the different dimensions are shown over in the figure next is your spot face operation for spot face operation you have to write sf in short in a abbreviated form where you can see they have given the different you know the dimensions where h is the particular this height h and this is the uh, you know the length you can say for this spot face and also this is the breadth okay now for the counter sink this is the h you can see over here and the dimensioning system is over is uh, given over here and the angular dimensions uh, is also given over here as 90 degree okay next is your depth or deep how much deep is the uh, drawing so here h is you know the depth 0.6 h is the uh, height of the arrow you can see over here 60 degrees is the angle likewise reference for reference uh, you can see uh, this is the system of dimensioning for reference as well next uh, we have got arc length this is generally used in welding purposes so here you can see for arc length uh, the dim dimension system are given likewise next is your slope as you can see over here angular dimension is just like this one as you can see over here 15 degrees given as the angle of the slope h is the height of the slope next comes the dimension of origin so this is the symbol and this is the height is given over here so this is the dimension for origin next is your conical taper so conical taper you can find the different dimensions given over here uh, angular dimensions as well the linear dimensions as well next is your <coughs> square in square shape you can see over here uh, the dimensions are given over here next is your place times or by so this is the uh, symbol for places times 
नेक्स्ट इज द रेडियस इन रेडियस वी आर जनरली डिनोटिंग द रेडियस बाई इन एवरीबिएटेड फॉर्म एज कैपिटल आर एंड द हाइट इज गिवेन बाय द डायमेंशन सिस्टम हेयर इट इज डिनोटेड बाई एच ऑनली नेक्स्ट इज योर स्फेरिकल रेडियस एज यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर दिस इज एस आर इज द स्फेरिकल रेडियस नेक्स्ट इज योर स्फेरिकल डायमीटर दिस इज एस फाइव इज गिवेन बाय स्फेरिकल डायमीटर एज वेल ओके नाउ एच इज द लेटर हाइट यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर इट इज गिवेन बाई सो actually this dimensioning system you can see over here is granted by the american society of mechanical engineers okay so these are the form and uh, proportion of dimensioning symbols <coughs> next is your very very important thing about dimensioning system so you can have a screenshot of this particular slide if you want to as because it is going to be a very important one for your interview purposes as well so in types of dimensioning we have got two dimensioning system one is your aligned dimensioning system and another one is your unidirectional dimensioning system in aligned dimensioning system dimensions are aligned with the entity being measured they are placed perpendicular to the dimension lines such that they may be read from the bottom or right hand side of the drawing so all the points i am mentioning in the aligned system are very very important for your exam purposes as well so you must take a note dimensions are placed at the middle and on the top of the dimension lines so this you must keep in mind that dimensions are always aligned in aligned system and they are always placed perpendicular to the dimension line such that they may be read from the bottom or right hand side of the drawing so here in this particular uh, aligned system you can see from the right hand side you can easily see the dimensions as well and from the top you can also see so they are being aligned you can see over here they are being aligned all the dimensions uh, given over here are aligned okay so this is the aligned type of dimensioning system you can see over here and here uh, the is uh, uh, circular system is the diameter of the circle is given by 516 as you can see over here and the other length and uh, linear dimensions are also given in a aligned form so here that uh, uh, measurement is given over the line of the dimension system as you can see over here each and every dimensions are given over the line that is the top of the line okay so that is the aligned system next is your unidirectional system this is also very important in unidirectional dimensioning system dimensions are placed in such a way that they can be read from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet previously in the aligned system what happened we uh, can easily read from bottom or right hand side of the drawing sheet now in this directional uh, system uh, we can read uh, very easily from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet next dimensions are inserted by breaking the dimension lines at the middle so here is the main difference between aligned and unidirectional dimensioning system here you can see the dimensions are being given in between the lines the lines uh, the dimension lines are being broken at the middle and the measurement are given in the middle of the dimension system as you can see over here uh, so all are been broken and in the middle the dimensions are given the measurement of the dimensions are being given in the middle of the dimensioning system previously the dimensions were given above the dimension lines but in case of unidirectional system the dimensions are given in between the dimension lines so that is the main difference between the aligned and unidirectional uh, uh, dimensioning system next is your dimensioning components in dimensioning components we have extension lines as you can see over here it indicates the location on the objects features that are dimensioned next is your dimension lines with arrow heads uh, in dimension lines it indicates the direction and extent of the dimension and inscribe dimension numbers next is your dimension numbers or dimension figures that is a measure it is a quantity so it is a dimension figures next you your leader lines as i earlier told you leader lines are the inclined straight line that indicates details of the feature with a local note notes notes is local or general note so here you can find 
this one this inclined uh, line straight line as you can see over here this one is the leader line this is the inclined line used to denote the diameter of the particular this circle and next is your this one is the also leader line and it is used to uh, denote the um, radius of this particular this curve okay so this inclined lines are known as the leader lines now here you can see over here is the angular dimension is given over here and these are the linear uh, dimensions are given over here as you can find over here in this particular picture next is the dimension terminology so here you will find the different terminology for dimensioning system first is your dimension uh, number one basic dimension value uh, this one denotes the basic dimension value the number next the dimension line that should be minimum 10 millimeter distance okay so it, the distance should be 10 millimeter so the, this is the dimension line next here you can find where the uh, two arrow are given the arrow marks uh, symbolizes the termination symbol or arrowhead you can see over here next this one is the extension line so this one is the extension line as you can see over here this one uh, now you have to note the visible gap there is a gap now next is your radius symbol r so here you can find the radius symbol r is given over here now the leader line this is the leader line as i earlier told you it is the uh, inclined straight line is known as leader line next is the diameter symbol that is given by phi so you can see over here this is the phi and that it is signifies the diameter next is the center line so center line is this one is the center line where you have no gap okay next is your not to scale this one is not to scale okay and the last is your uh, reference dimension so it is the reference dimension as you can see over here 2.5 is the reference dimension okay so similarly now second is your here is a typical drawing giving its uh, showing its different dimensions over here so here you can find uh, the r14 is uh, that is the radius of this particular curve so 14 is the radius phi is the diameter of uh, 12 and it is denoted uh, here they are saying it is having two holes and each diameter is 12 next is your here you can find uh, diameter is 32 for this particular uh, this this drawing uh, this circle actually and uh, 42 is from center line to this end and 42 is center line from this end so these are the different types of uh, dimensioning system for a particular drawing you can see over here actually this is the top view this is the front view and it is, it is a um, it, the drawing is uh, typically of a pipe joint and the scale is given as one is to one okay and this is the symbol of first angle projection so in this particular diagram you will find the example of different dimensioning system so here if you carefully look at this particular picture you can find that there is also the extension lines as are given over here these are the extension lines this ones so these are the extension lines and these are the dimension lines so you can see over here this is also the dimension line this is the external lines okay extended lines you can see so extended lines are thin continuous lines okay this ones next you can see over here uh, it is leader lines it indicates details of the feature with a local load as i earlier mentioned you that this inclined straight lines these lines are known as the leader lines now this is generally used to uh, details to locate the details of the feature with a local node now here it is written as strain drill and two holes and it is written as r16 that is the radius of this particular uh, this one this curve is known as r16 for the radius of this particular curve is 16 now extension lines extension lines you can see over here always leave a visible gap that is equal to maybe one millimeter from a view or center lines before start drawing a line extend the lines beyond the 
last dimension line that is up to 223 millimeter so here you can see over here you have to give a visible line visible gap from view so vis visible line from view that is the this one uh, near about one millimeter so these are the one millimeter gap for denoting the extension line okay and you have to extend up to two to three millimeter beyond the last dimension okay so that is the system this is the wrong system okay so you must follow this system so there is no gap you can see over here in the extension lines there are no gaps that is being attached to the drawing so you have to keep a distance from the drawing a visible gap that is equal to one millimeter at least okay so these are the things you have to keep in mind while giving dimension to a particular drawing okay next dimension lines should be lined up and grouped together as much as possible so here you can see over here they are not group um, you know grouped together and in this time uh, dimension they are grouped together so here you can see these are differently placed so here you can see they are grouped together so this is you have to practice while giving dimensioning system now again uh, I have given a slide to again uh, revise your aligned system and unit action system so you here you can again consult this particular uh, diagram or you can take a screenshot to again revise uh, the different dimensioning system that is the aligned and unidirectional system of dimensioning where you can find these diagrams also which uh, by which you can easily understand the difference between the aligned and unidirectional system so for uh, dimensioning uh, circular objects that is the um, uh, diameter if you want to uh, describe a diameter by dimensioning system so we have to make a leader line so leader line is a this one is known as leader line leader line is an inclined straight line you can see over here and uh, here will be a uh, you know the arrow line which will touch the circle okay which will give you the diameter now this high sign will be used for mentioning the dimension of a circular object so for this particular circle you can see over here 530 denotes the diameter of this particular you know circle so this is the leader line okay 